Hi, and we're here again with Dr. Dan Katzin, and we're going to try now, and this for HIT TV, and we're going to try now and understand magnetism in two minutes. <laughs> and we're here now at the great magnetic graffiti wall of HIT, which is the greatest graffiti magnetic wall in academia in the world. Students walk by, but they don't think about the fact that this seems to magically stick to this. To the wall. To the wall. Wow, how does that happen? Well, there's a force of attraction between this gizmo. Mm -hmm. Now, you might recognize this. It's like one of these magnets that you put on the refrigerator with, mm -hmm. with notes. And, of course, the wall behind it is, is it Which, magnetic? We, yes, it's magnetic it's paint. It's ma magnetic paint. And so it gets attracted, right? Magnets attract. Mm -hmm. Actually, magnets repel as well. And they only attract if you hold them the right way. Otherwise, they tend to repel. Okay, so, so when I hold but the magnet in my fingers, mm -hmm. okay, it's not attracted to my hand That's because right. I don't have ferrite or some other. Well, you don't have a magnetic material that reacts to the magnetic field. But I, ha that I, ha is I have iron in my blood. Yeah. Is that attracted to this magnet? Sure. Sure. Okay. But uh, you know, the attraction is very weak. This is a weak magnet. A weak force. That's right. It's a weak force, and uh, and uh, and it, it's far. Okay, it's not very close, and you know the blood, the the uh, iron in your blood is distributed all over, mm -hmm. and so the effect is weak. So, so we're not going to be able to explain in two minutes magnetism. No. But there is a kind of a magnet in this polymer somehow. Yeah, I'm sure that uh, when they when they when they. Uh, you know, this, this stuff is this, this plastic resin, okay? It's probably a liquid and they mix it in with some magnetic material. Okay. That's what makes it, gives it, it, it this black This is black not going to last forever. In other words, at some stage the magnetism here will weaken and it will fall off. Yeah, probably. Okay. Last question for this morning. Yes. Okay. Is, so, you know, they have all of these medical things that you wear, these bracelets with magnets that are supposed to cure arthritis and uh, all kinds of other uh, ailments of humanity. Okay. So, could there be a scientific basis for them? Because if you say that the, the, there is magnetism between the iron in our blood and, and magnets, we, we, we can't really poo-poo all of these things that seem to us to be ridiculous. Um, no, you can't poo-pooing, poo-poo them, but that's different than accepting them. Uh -huh. Okay, and so just because I can't disprove something doesn't mean that it's right. Okay, and that's not how science works. Okay. Right? I mean, if you want to do a scientific experiment to check something like this, then, you know, scientific experiments in, in biological sciences are done in a certain way. You take a, uh, you take a sample, Okay, and then you have a control sample, and you compare them, and each gets a certain treatment. Then you have to do it kind of but, okay, but well, even, well even, enough. Even, even after you've done the experiment, you still really don't know anything beyond your experiment. That's true. But the way science works is that you do experiments, you make enough generalizations, and you, you do enough so that you can make a... Uh, a coherent generalization. Yeah, but that generalization say, is still a theory. That's the way science works. So that, ev evolution, that, evolution that is a theory. Is science. Evolution is a theory. Look, evolution is a theory. Yes, evolution is a theory. But then you have to think about how you use the words and what you mean by the words. When a scientist says a theory, it's usually different than when a layman says theory. Okay. okay. And it's sort of a sort of a technical thing. A theory is sort of a. It's not just a model. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's it's a model so, that's so been tested. That we have a great deal of confidence because it's been tested. We have a great deal of confidence that it's correct. But nothing in science is absolutely correct. Okay. So I want to summarize. We've had now four videos where we've wandered around campus. Yes. And we have some common themes. One of the themes is that words such as chaos energy, resonance, do not have the same meaning to a scientist as they were to a layman, or for that matter, a designer. Well, what I'm trying to say is that these words in a specific field have a technical meaning. It's a very precise, so that you can work. Because when the, when, the, when the concepts are fuzzy, 
then you can't really work. One person means one thing and another person thinks of something else. The things have to be defined precisely. And so in physics and in math, chaos means something very specific, it means something totally different or somewhat different so, when you speak about it in, in a different context. Same thing goes with, with, with energy. Same thing yes. goes with, so, with so, other so, so when I say to you, you are a magnetic person, you have a magnetic personality, Yes. and you do have a little bit of magnetism, but it's mostly a word that people have taken and construed other meaning to it. Of, of course. They've taken the idea that this thing yeah. is attractive and mm -hmm. it attracts all sorts of things, and you say, oh, this person has a magnetic personality, and what mm -hmm. you mean is that he's he's interesting that people but, but want to be near, day, near him well, so but they don't mean yeah. they don't mean that he produces a magnetic yes, field the in the same sense that this does. you have to go teach and i'm keeping you 100 <laughs> students are waiting for you so the $64,000 question is yes. we're all chemistry at the end of the day yes so any kind of attraction is chemistry it might not be this magnetic chemistry but it is some kind of chemistry at the end of the day uh, okay we're going to talk about theology next time thank you very much with Dr. Dan Katzen, HIT-TV. Have a wonderful day.